brothers and sisters, misters and misses. It's old Rock and Randy here. Randy Ritchie with the Premier Pro Wrestling number 410 and Temperance Results, which will be streamed on our Patreon. Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon. Once again, why say no when it feels so good to say yes? Now, the night started out with a big bang when there was a six-man tag team match, a team of 0-1, 0-2, 0-3, which all lined up like in height by height and size, faced the team of Jake Hazard, the ROZ, and the returning American Beard. And here's the surprise ending to that one. It's the triple 10 count. The triple 10 count are coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah! And there goes. Rosin has it to the outside. Uh, America, but what the hell happened to my partners? He doesn't understand it. The zero, uh, this other zero. With an O'Connor roll. One, two, three. Oh! In the second match, this thing has been brewing for a while. It's been heating up. Marcus the Science Smith has been a thorn in the side of a young up and comer by the name of Rosie. Rockstar Rosie. This match really, and at some point you feel like you should step in because things are getting out of hand. But in the same token, you go, no, I'm not going to step in because they are grown men. And aside from that, it's going to be entertaining. Marcus the Science Smith face Rockstar Rosie, hair versus hair. And here's what happened at the end of that one. Bright red. He's trying to soften him up for that sleeper. He's trying to soften him up for the Burmese sleeper. Oh, come on! Oh. Oh, and now Marcus says, I can't stand no more as he puts that uh, beautiful Russian leg sweep. He's going up to the top, the high wrist as Rosie sees him out of the corner of his eye. And he, oh, Marcus the Science Smith hit the, hit the referee, and he's got the Burmese sleep on. He's got it on. Charlie Hustle's losing his mind. Charlie Hustle's losing his mind. He's in a panic. He's trying to get the referee up. He's got, unbelievable, unbelievable, Marcus is going out. But there's no referee to call it. There's no referee to call it. Charlie Hustle's gonna take business matters into his own hand. He kicks him, and he's got it on Charlie Hustle. He's got the sleeper on Charlie Hustle. Oh, and the carcass, no! One, two, three, oh! The winner of this matchup at 20 minutes and 34 seconds, Marcus the Science Smith. Takes it like a man. A deal is a deal. A deal is a deal. Charlie Hustle with the Clippers. I can't believe we're going to see this. Adam Rosie Rosencrantz. Can he take his medicine like a man? Let's see the litmus test. And this is a, a test of the metal, if you will. And look at him like a man going out, getting the chair, saying, I made a deal, I keep my word. If you're going to shave it, shave it. I gave my word. Look at him take his medicine like a man. Look at this, unbelievable. Oh, horrible. I can't believe we're, we, we're, we're where we are right now. This is going to be so painful, so humiliating, so humiliating to watch Marcus the Science Smith. Shape ahead of Rockstar Rosie. Can't believe
believe Rosie's taking this like a man. Look at that, no fighting. That's all man handles his business, though. Oh, these just look like they're having too much fun. Charlie hustles it on the act. Look at Rosie's face, the humiliation. Just horrible. Poor Rosie. But I'm sure he's not finished with Marcus Desai and Smith. Okay, the next matchup, after a brief inter I'm sorry, before the brief intermission, was the PPW Tag Team Championship matchup. Humek and Spawn, the former champions, invoked their number one contender's uh, option and faced not only Jose Acosta and Ventura, the tag team champions, but they stepped up and they faced Jose Ventura and the man who was supposed to be filling in for Jose when Ventura and actually Sensei beat the team of Humek and Spawn for the titles. Now, this is where it gets real wonky and talk about things heating up. I don't think I can think of a time in PPW's history where the intensity, the tempers, and the emotions have been tapped into like this one. Every time the man who started the match, Semsei, who believe it or not, had the Giants, who Mick and Spawn reeling, went for a tag. Ventura's in the ring, out of habit he tagged Jose. If Jose's in the ring, out of habit he tagged Ventura. So finally, at the end of it all, after three, four, five, six times maybe, Semsei is only human, he showed his frustration and dropped from the apron. Basically saying, well, what the hell do you need me for? In the process of that, Jose says, wait a minute, pal, where are you going? And damn it, here's what happened there, which cost the team of Ventura and Jose Acosta, and I guess some say the tag titles. He's got to make the tag, and if I'm Ventura, I'm making that tag to some say. I'm making that tag to some say. Him the tag is made. But he tagged Jose Acosta again. Jose's coming in like a house of fire. He's pillar to posting big psycho spawn on Humek. Some say he's outside on the apron and he's pissed. He's gonna finally tag Sam. Sam says no. What do you need me for? I was sitting out here the whole time. I was sitting out and Ventura made the tag. Jose is pleading with him. Jose's pleading with him. And Sam is just flipping out. He's leaving. Sam's leaving. No, no. Oh, God. And if things weren't already weird enough, King Pancho, the, the Hispanic ace, was set to defend his King of the Iron Man mat, his King of the Iron Man title in triple threat action versus Brandon Campbell versus Charlie Hustle. Well, hell, Pancho broke his hand in the first five minutes of the match and was able to compete. So, what we ended up seeing there was intensity personified between one Charlie Hustle and badass Brandon Campbell and watch what happens in the closing few minutes of that match, the closing seconds of that matchup, and you've got a new King of the Iron Man and Challenge Pro Champion, badass Brandon Campbell.
Brandon Campbell. The fifth match for PPW Intemperance. Again, available on Patreon. Now, I told you, things were already heating up and the flames only got fanned even more because some say, who was just the partner, the partner that walked out on Ventura and Jose, the same Jose and Ventura who out of habit or intentionally, we don't know, refused to tag Semsei in on that match with a face-off for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. When champion El Guerrero, Jose Acosta, faced Semsei in the main event, two out of three falls for the title. Here's what happened in that match, and I'm going to have a few words for you after you see the controversy, first fall, second fall, but the controversy in the third and final fall. Going for the superplex. Semsei puts the brakes on. He wants to go anywhere but eight feet up to that ring, and he's even headbutting Jose out of it. Oh, and Jose takes that big bump. Can Semsei follow up though? Those headbutts took as much out of him as they did out of Jose. He's going for his frog splash. He hit it! First fall, Semsei! Look at Sem though, man, the courage. Oh! Oh, and Sam is just lighting him up, and Sam's showing that quickness. Sam may be a little bit quicker than Jose, which is good because it bounces off the reach. Oh, oh my God, Jose's big leg. One, two, three. Second fall goes to Jose, the champion. Unbelievable. up to the count of eight, the count stops. Slug festival right in the middle, but you notice they're not throwing punches. They're throwing forearms and strikes, perfectly legal. Open palm strikes and kicks and Sam's block, they keep blocking. Oh, I've never seen kicks block like this. Oh, 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 now they're throwing fists. It's on like Donkey Kong. Where do they get the... Oh! F, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Jose Acosta with the victory roll. He took the referee out. One, two, three. The winner of the third and final fall, and still PPW Heavyweight Champion, Jose Acosta! As you can see, Semsei was hot, and I don't blame him. It's frustrating. It was a frustrating night for Semsei, who really showed up loaded for bear. He had one hell of a night in that ring. When Jose Acosta rolled him up and laid back with that O'Connor roll, he did nail referee Justin McKay. However, at that point, it's the referee's judgment call if he wants to disqualify Jose or not. Due to the fact that it was obviously inadvertent, you've seen the videotape, Justin decided that it was more important for a championship matchup to have a finish. But I also get why Semsei is double frustrated because at the end of the day, they probably should have restarted the match. So both men have a point. One way, shape, or form, this thing hopefully is going to get hammered out this Saturday night at PPW 411. When Jose stepped up like a man and said, I don't have to defend the title now. I can wait till the next big show taping in four weeks. But if you feel that slighted, Sam, your friendship is that important to me. Why well, will defend my title the following week, which is what's going to happen this Saturday night, April 16th at PPW. The rematch for the heavyweight title. Sam say 
clashes with El Guerrero Jose Acosta for the title two out of three falls. Again, please subscribe to our Patreon where you can stream all kind of content, but more importantly, the current content in temperance. Thanks again for the support.